Welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Today we're gonna to be talking about a super simple concept, but before you begin, please subscribe, smash that like button, I appreciate it so much. All right, so we're gonna be talking about how to merge cells. To merge a cell with an Excel, cell with an Excel, Excel cell, <laughs> um, is super simple. And you can probably see just looking at my screen, I could do it with one click. But we're also gonna be talking about the properties of merged cells. All right, so let's go ahead and just create some random data here. Let's just say we're gonna name this data, right? And we're just gonna put a bunch of numbers down right there. Um, and then there's corresponding numbers here, whatever. All right, so here we have our random data and we want this to span across here. So right now, data is in cell B3, but we want it to be, we want it to span B3 and C3. So what we can do is select the cells we wanna merge, and up here at home, we just hit the merge, bu merge and center button here. And if we hit this drop down arrow, we can merge and center, which means that we will merge these two cells and that this will be put in the middle. And let me show you what that means. So now we just have one cell right here. We have cell B3. It's not C3 and B3, it's just one cell B3. So if I click here, I'm still in B3. Click here, same cell. Here, new cell, right? So let's undo that. And if I were to do a merge across, basically it's just gonna merge those cells, but it's not gonna center the info that we have there. So we'll just and merge and center that again. All right, so now I can drag and put this anywhere where there's empty cells. But for example, if I have cells here, there's already data there, right? Which is obvious and I can just replace it and my merge cell will stay the same. But now let's talk about what happens if you try to merge a, a merge cell with an emerge cell, you know, mergeception. <laughs> um, so if I take this cell and I try to put it like on the side of this merge cell, it says you can't do that to a merge cell. Before it just asked us if we want to replace the data, but now we can't. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to unmerge and then we can drag into there, if that makes sense. So everything that's merged cannot be re-merged with another cell. You cannot have mergeception with an Excel. All right, so that is basically all you need to know about merged cells. Hopefully this was a quick tutorial on how to do that. And if you have any questions on any of their properties or anything of merge cells, please leave a comment, smash the like button, subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.